Hello everybody and welcome to my Myrtle Beach USA shopping haul. I've never done a clothing haul before and I never planned on doing one before, but I thought that this one would be <coughs> sorry I'm really sick here. I thought it would be pretty neat because a lot of the things I buy now are travel related um, because a lot of my clothes have to fit into one suitcase. So I spent probably less than 150 bucks, well definitely less than 150 bucks on this stuff alone, but I'm going to show you so I hope you guys enjoy it and get some tips and tricks for things that you can purchase too. So my first exciting purchase, which I actually thought they were really nerdy, I wore them all day today and I love them, is these Reebok runners. <clears throat> They're like super basic and super flexible, uh, but they weigh like a feather. Like they're just, they're like a big foam shoe. And so I'm gonna wear them for my backpacking trip across Europe, which I'm super pumped about. And those will fit perfectly into my case, my backpacker's backpack. Second thing I got, which I have to go get, hold on. That didn't work out as expected. I'm sorry. I'll try to fix it again. This is what happens when you're traveling and you want to use your cell phone. So it's currently propped up by an alarm clock and a book. So we're going to have to try to do this properly here. Um, I got the travel cubes. And I don't know if any of you have heard of them before. I already pre-packed this one just to kind of show you guys what it looks like in this one. I already have three pairs of pants. Four shirts, two dresses, and a belt, which is crazy to fit all in this one cube. And then I got two more that I still have packed and haven't packed um, to go right into my suitcase for my trip. So that'll be super awesome. I'm really excited about that. They usually run between forty and seventy dollars, but at Marshalls I got it for fourteen. Bargain hunter. I got five tank tops. Like, not that you need to see them all, but like beige, pink, white, blue, and black tanks. I put them under everything. And next piece is a leather belt. I can't tell you how many belts I have purchased that break within like five days because I buy super tacky stuff. Um, and I'm not going to do that anymore. So this time I bought a belt. It was $44 regularly. And I got it for 15 It's pretty cool. It's genuine leather and it was made in Canada. I was at a leather store. I can't remember what it's called. And they gave me a 15% off coupon to go check out Bass because it was more of a female store than Wilson's Leather. I think that's what it was called. <laughs> so I went and yeah, it was called Wilson's Leather because I bought these gloves. They're leather gloves and... I've always wanted a pair of leather gloves because they're super easy to pack and I just wanted one pair that was good quality. So the more I travel, the more I realize that I need to start buying things that are somewhat expensive and not the super cheap stuff that is going to break in 10 seconds because I'll wear the same things all the time. So these gloves were originally $90, then on sale for $59. 88 and I got them for 17 so that was pretty neat too um, I'm going to show you these I bought seven pairs of tights and they're made out of bamboo fiber and rayon which is incredible so they're these like salt and pepper tights with like a little bit of a design as you can see there and I got two salt and pepper tights two three four four black pairs of tights. That's not counting right. That was three. Um, a brown pair of tights. A salt and pepper brown pair of tights. And this is only four bucks. I really wanted a super tiny umbrella that I could pack in my luggage. No problem. I wanted black but I found this and fell in love with it. It was regularly 27 and these were regularly 25 but I got every one of these for $2.40 and I got the umbrella for four bucks but it's a really cute pattern a little wooden handle so I'm very happy with these purchases and then I went back 
and got this shirt that I was like iffy about because it's a jean vest. So it was $99 and I got it for $14 and this will be coming with me on my backpacking trip because in the summer it gives me a little bit more warmth because I'm always cold. I just bought this tank. As you can see, I'm a fan of the salt and pepper. This one's like a workout top so it's super stretchy. I'm going to start buying more workout apparel because it's nice when you're sweaty and you have a backpack on and it's just annoying and meh. So I'm going to buy more of that. Which then led me to buying a $3 long sleeve shirt. And it is a workout one. It kind of looks like a little baseball shirt, but it is polyester and nylon. Um, one of those like super stretchy ones too. Then I got same one, long sleeve, v-neck. It's actually hot pink, but the lighting's a little bit weird here. Um, same stretchy material and this one, which is a t-shirt, but same stretchy material. I got these pants and they are leggings and at first glance you're like, these are the ugliest things ever. But when I wear them and they're like this stretchy and they're super soft, I am in love with them. So I have a couple pairs of these too. That is it for my haul. I'm probably going to pack absolutely all of this for my trip, next trip, which is great. Um, and I spent like less than $150, which I don't even have, but that's okay. Um, it'll last me for a long time. So here's my haul. All of my lap here so you can see how messy I am. And today was my last day in Myrtle Beach, so I am going to be heading back to Canada. It's about a 15-hour drive. Uh, hopefully we'll do it straight. And then I want to get some footage of my little nephew. So <laughs>